uh, understand uh, the objective of this course uh, understand the key stages of the commissioning process what do we mean by commissioning what is a different type of commissioning terminology of the commissioning what is the hot commissioning the cold commissioning what commissioning uh, all this terminology start up what is the mechanical completion what is a uh, initial commissioning what is a uh, test uh, performance testing all this terminology we will see it during my presentation to second objective is uh, to develop commissioning uh, and start a plan or strategy of the new uh, constructed uh, plants how to manage issues dealing with the commissioning of electrical instrumentation and utility system as we know uh, any commissioning any any new equipment or any new facility uh, when we have to take it when we have to take it in the commissioning or put it in surface uh, before that steps we have a lot of activity to be done and a lot of the function testing of for electrical for instrumentation all these functional tests should be recorded and uh, recorded in special checklist design designed special checklist for this activity uh, third one to develop overall overall commissioning management plan resources plan and budget yes we have uh, to take care and uh, keep control of our budget during construction because uh, you know construction and commissioning it takes it consume a lot of uh, uh, sources uh, and consumable material uh, so we have to take care and to put uh, correct control on uh, commissioning budget usually the budget of the commissioning is uh, uh, almost around 3.5 of the capital of the project uh, then we'll go through troubleshooting and problem solving strategy which can be applied during the commissioning yes during the commissioning we have we face a lot of problem why why we face a lot of problems? Because this first time is is, uh, is starting. We are starting this equipment. We don't know the behavior of this equipment yet. Uh, so uh, if we have uh, centrifugal bump, high stage, um, uh, multi stage of centrifugal bump, uh, we uh, we need to start this bump for the first time. We don't know how much the um, over could be uh, tripped an overload or. Uh, uh, or on cavitation uh, problem. So, yes, uh, during uh, commissioning, we will, let, uh, we will see uh, and we face a lot of problem. And uh, could the commission continue 24 hours or 34 hours without relaxing for the team who is working in the commissioning? So, good planning is required for the manpower during the commissioning. How to manage risk associated with the commission? Also, as I told you, I will show now uh, in the next slide. I will show you a real incident happened uh, in one company which I was working inside uh, with for uh, for it uh, during a commissioning of uh, centrifugal bomb. Uh, <clears throat> because as I told you, uh, the system we have uh, uh, is, uh, for the new system or the new uh, constructed area. Uh, we have many discipline discipline are uh, working on the site all are inter interactive or are uh, we have the contractor we have the commissioning team we have the um, operation team we have maintenance team all these people or these teams should be controlled and should be uh, via a good planning uh, so everybody has to know what is his role what is his responsibility uh, in this commissioning and all hazard are known and registered during this phase of the commissioning so uh, <clears throat> as i told you usually most of the courses or uh, other uh, people who is doing this course start by commissioning uh, steps or stages or the key elements of the commissioning i will show you here why i brought this incident during commissioning why i would it because it's very important very very important to begin uh, that uh, uh, hazard we, sh we should control the hazard we should specify and uh, identify all associated hazard of our activities so and put the required location so we can control this hazard and we can put our plant 
in surface without any incident or without any fatality or without any loss by injury. <coughs> so as we know, the main objective of the commission is to affect uh, the safe, uh, the safe and hand over uh, the safe and or uh, uh, the safe and orderly and over of the unit from the constructor to the owner guaranteeing it uh, guaranteeing its operability in terms of performance re uh, reliability safety and information uh, information traceability <coughs> i'm sorry So, the, uh, the commissioning objective is to take or to deliver or hand over this plant, new plant, from the constructor to the operation team and uh, through performance testing. This performance testing could continue 12 hours, 24 hours, could be to 70, 72 hours and could continue months, six months. Uh, if we have uh, some power plant uh, equipment, turbine, uh, turbine equipment, so the handover it continue could continue six months in this performance system. So it is really uh, uh, hazardous, uh, hazardous uh, activity and should be controlled very well. So commissioning uh, activity pose a significant safety and loss risk due to the sometimes unpredictable operation of equipment upon energization. As we see here, here incident during a commission exists is here. What do you think of this one? Here we have a ball valve. This is a ball valve. And this is a, this is this ball valve was installed in this line here. This line as we see here. <coughs> this incident happened during commissioning of a mega centrifugal bomb 1,100 1, barrel per day of water injection. Uh, what happened? It, it's, it's something happened by uh, some mistake happened. One mistake happened. Even all control was all the commissioning was was covering every everything. But in the last minute, somebody changed the position of the swell from open positions to the closed position. He he got he he lost his uh, focus or his concentration when he when we uh, when he opened the when he uh, closed the valve he thought it was closed and he is trying to open it as there is a plan here this is a simple sketch showing this what happening here here we have fresh water uh, tank the water here is treated water from river water is used for water injection wells in one or in one company here this is centrifugal bomb uh, mega mega bomb we call it 100,000 the capacity of this pump is, per day is 1,100 barrel per day and we as we see here we have shutdown valve in the export or I just make it simple isolation valves recycle valve here so what happening here this valve this is this valve here this one downstream of uh, recycle valve this is one this is the valve here this is blown blown out about 30 meter away from this line from this its positions and it was lucky that company that nobody had no injury happened even there were there were more than 30 persons inside during the commission you know as we have many different things okay so <clears throat> As you know, centrifugal bomb, when we want to start the centrifugal bomb, we have to throttle the uh, discharge valve uh, to avoid the bomb tripping or motor tripping on overload if, we, if the discharge is open 100%. So we have here this shutdown valve. It takes two minutes to, uh, or something, one and, one and a half minute to be 100% open. During this time, the pressure of this bomb, it will increase. And uh, during the startup, this valve should open the recycle valve open and returning the fluid or excess uh, surplus fluid to the tank. But what happened here, uh, bomb started going uh, initiating to start, not 100% starting. This valve also uh, not 100% open, is, is in turn is turning to open in the face of opening, uh, but it doesn't uh, accommodate all the bomb discharge. And 
this valve is open, but downstream valve is closed uh, because it was by a human mistake. <coughs> then we face this, we face this results. For this reason, the commission exists. It is very difficult and very hazardous area, and everybody involved in the uh, commissioning should be aware of the all hazard associated in the in the commission. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, as you see, this is support. This is very strong support. Uh, see how 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 uh, what happened to the support to the metal here. Okay. What is a commission? We will go through to some kind of uh, the terminology and definitions of uh, commissioning. Uh, commissioning is a, seri a series of checks checks that confirm newly constructed chemical plant is fit for purpose. These checks being made at all stages of a project life, not just after construction is completed. So, so uh, uh, most uh, and some of the us. Uh, thinks that commissioning is just after the uh, construction job completed, then we can go out to the plant and uh, push, push the, uh, big, the big green button to start the plant. This is the situation is not like that. that it is it is uh, plant activities and a lot of activities should be completed and at the same time some commissioning activity should be at the same time during the construction, such as pre pre commissioning activity. We will see what is the pre-commissioning activities in our presentation. So commissioning is the use of discipline, discipline systemic, systematic and professional methodologies to convert a newly constructed process plant into fully integrated and operational unit in the most safe, efficient, in the most safe, efficient, cost effective and time timely of manner. So this is the uh, uh, the criteria that we have to take care of uh, of them during our commissioning. So, uh, first of safe, uh, our 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 commissioning should be safe. We don't create any incident to people, to equipment, or to environment. Uh, efficient that should be done uh, in the correct way uh, as the plant is designed. Uh, to be operated as a, as per design in the full capacity, in the full capacity and cost effective and timely in the manner. So this is a criteria when we ha we have to follow and to, to uh, take care of them when we start commissioning our plant to achieve startup and the production target right first time. Some commissioning terminology we have dry commissioning. What do they mean by dry commissioning? And we see uh, some example of dry commissioning. Dry commissioning is we do this type of, uh, of dry commissioning during the construction phases. Uh, some equipment, uh, some part of the equipment is uh, completed, uh, and the other part still under construction. So we can uh, define this part of the plant to do some some type of uh, dry commissioning, such as. Uh, of uh, some example of uh, this activity of, of dry activity of dry uh, commissioning is only uh, testing testing of uh, our uh, uh, loops or function text of electrical mechanical uh, instrumentation so interlock and emergency shutdown test control system sequ uh, sequence checks potentially initial running of major motors such as Compressor oil, oil, oil lubrication, lubrication system uncoupled from the turning machines. So we can do uh, slow run for motors, for electrical motor to so, to see uh, the direction, the rotation of uh, rotation, the direction of the rotation. If we have any high uh, vibration, uh, the temperature of the motor. So all this activity we can we can call it uh, call it as dry commissioning. What is a good commissioning? Good commissioning uh, is to introduce some safe, safe uh, fluid, safe uh, uh, media to the system, but not the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the fluid which we are intend to, to produce it in our facility or to treat it in our facility, such as water or nitrogen or air. All this we call it with commissioning. Uh, <coughs> commissioning. 
uh, commissioning is, uh, is usually the phase of project when the design process fluid are introduced to the system. Some, some terminology is called this hot commissioning that will be, we introduce the design process fluid <coughs> to the system. Uh, startup, what does mean? A startup is a, uh, in the project where entire plant uh, are completed and they will take to into operation. Process fluid are introduced and process condition are established with the intent of making product. Initial operation. <coughs> this initial operation is a stage where we uh, tune the, our plant. We introduce our uh, uh, our uh, product to the facility, to the new facility, and we do some kind of uh, tuning of uh, or solve some problem which we uh, facing it during this uh, commissioning phase or this initial operation. So the phase of project after startup, the complete plant in order to adjust and optimize and prepare the plant for performance testing. So in this case, we have to focus before we go to the final uh, step of our commissioning, which is uh, performance testing. We have to solve all the problem which we could face. And it's, it's preferred to wait uh, sometimes after, after all, problem are uh, solved or control system are tuned uh, the plant is running as smoothly without any uh, problem uh, we, we could wait uh, for 12 hours 24 hours then we start our performance test which as i told you as i said this performance test could be accepted could be continued for 12 hours or 24 hours or 72 hours uh, hot commissioning and life commissioning design was fluid are introduced to the system and subsystem performance testing uh, chicks plant meets uh, the specification under normal operation condition post commissioning is also very important things this is after after accepting the uh, result of uh, uh, of performance testing we have some period we call it post uh, commissioning this is to close out some item of uh, bunch list which we uh, which we uh, selected uh, as a bunch list item before uh, start up the plant and during this period we can solve this bunch list item which not doesn't affect the operation of plant <coughs> safety will talk uh, safety and environment consideration we will talk about uh, in our presentation in detail uh, all this will okay. <clears throat> uh, control and measure to eliminate risk and uh, incidents training program very important to train all in, all people uh, in our uh, team before go to uh, commissioning phase operation maintenance contractor hazard study also this is very important part of the hazard study in our presentation or in our course i will do some part of hazard uh, study how to, to conduct hazard uh, hazard study for the project well, as you know before the starting uh, any any new facility or any, any uh, uh, upgrade of facility we have to do hazard study this hazard study to identify what is the hazard what is the required location or uh, uh, during a normal operation, so we, it's required to uh, define what is required instrumentation, what is required uh, protection equipment to be installed in the pipe uh, in case if we have high flow, low flow, or high high pressure, low to low pressure. All this uh, 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 vari uh, variable should be uh, studied in the hazard study and and select the required and the correct protections against this variable. <coughs> uh, I will continue, and now I will move quickly because um, our presentation is around. Uh, this is uh, uh, what I'm sh what I'm showing you here is only some slide of my my the, uh, my original uh, presentation or course. Uh, some slide not all in, in our course we'll see more in more details we'll talk about startup we'll talk about the hazard we'll talk about how to solve problem here I'm focusing only on the commissioning phases or or steps uh, 
so commissioning any commissioning uh, any phase should uh, of um, any commissioning process uh, is uh, consisting of three uh, part we call it pre-commissioning activity we have commissioning and start up uh, what is what are the pre-commissioning activity we see here installing a full filter uh, backing of uh, distillation columns filling a re uh, reactor with catalyst cleaning pipes and equipment vendor and factory acceptance testing bunch listing and instrumentation electric and motor loop testing all these are called we call them as brick pre-commissioning activity and this pre-commissioning activity we do it we can do it during the construction phase also to save some time uh, after uh, after com completion of uh, construction commissioning a various system here various system and item of equipment are first put initial uh, into the initial operation to gain the confidence that when the process chemical are introduced to the plant will operate as designed and as intended here we focus on utility system and from here cooling water and general purpose of water are made like the unit is leak tested here also we do leak test startup shutdown distillation col uh, columns and and uh, scr uh, scrubbing uh, columns button to use start uh, startup here the plant is broken to the actual operation here in the, this the following slide will explain all these uh, parts uh, here the commission prepare implement close out all here i will explain in our course in detail what the activity in each phase of uh, this one <coughs> close out stage also we have some activities there here we have some uh, commissioning uh, scope uh, the following key point are advised in any commissioning sections uh, of the contract here this eight elements uh, I will speak in detail about them in our course acceptance criteria what is the factor that we accept uh, we should consider to accept uh, the project standard operating procedure and training package responsibility mechanical completion recruitment of initial fill of chemical commissioning interlock or and emergency shutdown system testing control system sequence checks startup and ha handover between disciplines from uh, contractor to uh, operation uh, here everyone uh, every every point of uh, this point are explained I will explain truly uh, in the course Here commissioning phase two. Commissioning phase two uh, will focus on um, factory acceptance uh, tests, uh, check uh, construction and the quality of build, tracking progress and system status, status, cleaning procedure and drying, pre-commissioning procedure, vessel check sheets, instrument tube, electrical and uh, control system testing, commissioning bunch listing, handover of uh, from construction to commissioning team uh, introduction of safe chemical pre-commissioning hazard study and pre-start uh, pre up safely commissioning leak testing commissioning and initial startup plus procedure and over to operation all this topic will be discussed in uh, I'll talk about it in uh, what we call it the uh, second part or second phase of uh, phase two of commissioning We'll talk it in detail. We'll talk about it in details. We'll with a lot of example. Uh, 
So what is a factory acceptance, acceptance, acceptance testing? Uh, factory acceptance testing, we call it FAT, describes the final checks performed on the vessel or and major equipment prior to the delivery to the job site. So this <coughs> test or commissioning test this is done for equipment uh, which we, which we uh, imported from uh, our abroad uh, from uh, so from the factory uh, some people will visit the factory there or some people a team from construction or from the operation from different discipline from maintenance will visit the factory to, to attend this uh, test we call it factory acceptance test so during the so in the factory, so the commissioning team will emphasis on the clean clean lenses uh, uh, and tests installation of major component and suitability of the equipment to travel, not on the design or on the fabrication of the unit. So also on the finishing, also many commissioning awards can be lost to site rectification of issues with equipment and vision costing far more than price of an air ticket and accommodation to facilitate and in the inspection and potential correction of the potential problem at source that mean it is better to send our team for to the uh, to attend the commissioning activity in the factory uh, instead bringing that uh, machine to our uh, field or to, uh, to do the commissioning because it uh, could um, have some problem uh, that machine that we can we can we could not we cannot start it so we have to return back or we need to uh, wait there's a specialist to come to, from the manufacturing company which take which takes a lot of time uh, also for some example i'll show in uh, factory acceptance test here also uh, check construction the quality of build we'll talk about it tracking progress and system status <coughs> cleaning procedure and drying clean and drying cleaning we we'll talk about cleaning why it's very important to uh, before uh, start commissioning our our equipment to be cleaned and dried of any water or moisture we talk about we we'll talk about it in detail in our uh, course so cleaning procedure will be incorporate checks check sheet that will indicate the type of cleaning system uh, steam water rapid and pneumatic uh, depressurization with air or suitable gases the source of cleaning medium maximum pressure that may be utilized in the procedure the cleaning route of the continuity temporary equipment necessary for cleaning for example spool flexible passes strainer and target uh, bleeds uh, it is a standard industry uh, practice to erect pipe work using temporary pipe uh, spools to, to replace any equipment that may prevent unsuccessful cleaning or will be damaged by cleaning process. Uh, example of this type of equipment, instrumentation, uh, so flow meter, turbine meter, any uh, any temperature probes or pressure indicator, we, we, need to, we have to remove this instrumentation or tools before doing any cleaning because it could affect it. Uh, modeling control valves, non-return valve, all this um, we need to remove and put a spool, uh, spool pipe instead of them. Filter, all things. Type of cleaning methods we have many type of cleaning. I will, uh, I will show our all. I will explain it in our uh, course. Cleaning by blowing, rapid uh, pneumatic depressurization. Cleaning by steam blowing, steam system. Cleaning by flushing, cleaning by chemical, cleaning via big, mechanical cleaning via uh, and visual inspection. So all this we'll talk about it in our course.
in doing the procedure, we will explain it also. Cleaning by flushing, what is the brocation required during this activity? Chemical cleaning, cleaning via big mechanical cleaning and uh, visual inspection, drying, example of this, uh, what kind of drying, how to do drying. So level of drying, we have level one, level two of, of drying, how to do the, uh, each of uh, this uh, dry, uh, drying, furnace drying, here for, regarding furnace dry, drying, furnace need to be dried in order to, to remove water or moisture trapped inside the uh, refractories. The moisture can be slowly expelled from the uh, insulating uh, concrete or refractory by gradually raising its temperature before any appreciable uh, load is put in the, uh, on the heater. This work must be done with an extreme care to, to be assured of a long heater life with minimum maintenance. Before commissioning a fuel gas line, furnace uh, firebox must be thoroughly burgeoned with steam until the steady palm of steam can be seen rising out of the stack. So after the pilot burn are lit, their arc temperature, the arc temperature is raised to 120 Celsius. Uh, the rate uh, of 200 per hour, the rate of increased temperature is 25 Celsius per uh, hour. Uh, by lighting the FU main burner, the temperature is held for at 120 for 24 hours. Uh, the temperature is next increased to 200 uh, Celsius degree at the rate of 25 Celsius degree per hour and held for 12 hours. At this temperature, steam, air, or nitrogen uh, circulate through all uh, process tube in order to prevent overheating. The temperature increases up to 400 Celsius degree and held for 24 hours. Finally, the temperature decreases to 500. For 12 hours, so again we have to bring this temperature from 500 to 200 in uh, in uh, in steps uh, and during uh, certain times, so we to avoid any damage to uh, furnace. Uh, what well, here we talk about pre-commissioning. What's the pre-commissioning in details? We'll so we'll see some example how to do pre-commissioning. Uh, uh, and checklist, function test of electrical instrumentation and the uh, control loop system testing. Uh, distillation towers decommissioning. I will talk it about. I will talk about in our about it in our course. Decommissioning activity, <clears throat> as we see here, these towers. Distillation tower inspection and boxing up. We'll talk about it. Uh, also, examples of run and of uh, rotating equipment. I will explain how to put this equipment and how to do pre commissioning or commissioning of this equipment in our course. Commissioning bunch listing. What is a commissioning bunch listing? What do we mean by it? Uh, <coughs> all these uh, topic. I will talk about it. Uh, in uh, our course. As we see here from bunch list item falling three categories, bunch complete before uh, that some item can be completed before handover or startup, complete after uh, handover and startup item for further discussion and clarification. So usually we say uh, item A, B, C, item A cannot start the the, the blend if we have any item classified as uh, as a item <coughs> uh, all these examples of bunch list uh, uh, checklist handover this is the final stage of uh, commissioning have handover from construction to commissioning as this handover introduction to safe chemical here introduce of safe chemical also how to introduce fluid commissioning leak testing how to do leak test test a 
so we have different leak test we have to do it to confirm our plant is fit and uh, re reliable to introduce our our fluid also document inclusion handover package performance testing what is the performance testing duration also what is the duration of performance testing uh, problem uh, how to avoid problem in commissioning typical problems problem avoidance commissioning uh, here after this one we will do some kind of uh, summary steps uh, we divide all this commissioning to certain steps about 12 steps in details as we see here so each one what uh, what is the function of this uh, of each uh, steps of this uh, <coughs> of commissioning uh, steps so, so all this all this activity or all these steps will be summaries summarized will be summarized in uh, to finalize the commissioning in a good uh, way so everybody knows what is the basic steps and what is the main uh, steps or stage phases of the commissioning okay it's <clears throat> for me this is the last uh, this is the end of uh,